G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Home at the moment and I'm hoping a week on Thursday, which is a Thursday after Easter, to get back out on track and finish off my walk into Collie, which will be three and a half days. But the whole idea of this video is, I have an issue with putting a pack that size into my pack, taking up space, when I can actually fit it into something probably half the size. Weight wise it's not going to be very much difference. Uh, it's going to be a little bit inconvenient in a way because I'll be having to use my larger pot to have the food in and eat out of that rather than out of the bag. But for saving space and making it a lot easier for me personally, I think this is the way I'm going to be doing it because I'm only carrying the small pack again because I can't see any need for going for the bigger pack at the moment. So let's weigh all four of these in before and after. So here we go, these are all the four packs I'll be taking with me and the ones I'm going to be hopefully making a bit smaller today and they come in at 451 grams and that is 15.9 ounces so now it's going to swap them into the other bags and come back and weigh how much it is and I'll show you the difference in uh, size and here's the before size let's have a look at it we've got a one litre water container 550 pot and a gas cylinder so that's where we are at the moment And the width of that is, so look, it's about the, about the same as the one litre water container. And then let's swap it all into these bags. Let's start with the cooked breakfast. So that's the full size of the bag compared. Very similar in size, probably an inch and a half shorter with a ziplock just over two inches away from the top. Let's get the get it opened. It smells pretty good. Overpowering just a mild smell. So we can get all this in without losing any. Make the end smaller. Let's see, cook breakfast done. And what you can probably see here on the bag, I've written down the cook breakfast, the amount of water in millilitres and cup and the stand time of 10 to 15 minutes. So let's close this one down, get as much air out as possible. Now, let's show you the size comparison to this one. That's the difference. So you're gonna be able to get more into your pack like this and you are like this. I don't know why they don't just, where they've got the actual uh, tear points here for you to rip it open and use it as a bowl and eat your meals. I don't know why, why they don't just shorten the whole pack down to that length. It's going to be lighter to carry and smaller to carry. But still, this works out smaller again. So I'll get the other three done now and we'll weigh them. Cottage pie next. Get the bag ready. And this one's got two. Oh, another sachet in. Oh, this will be the uh, mashed potato. 
Now, what I'm going to do with this is I'm just going to open this, throw that in there with there, and I'll just heat it all up together and see how this one turns out. So if you want to know if it turns out into a mush and a mess, watch the Cottage Pie review in a few weeks' time. There's some mashed potato gone in. So both this and this one is half a cup, so I'll just put one cup of water in and hopefully that'll work out. And the cottage pie. Fettuccine mix. When you are transferring, make sure you pull these out so all the flavouring and all the uh, ingredients actually come out the corner of the packs down at the bottom. And then last of all, the chicken tikka masala. This one does take there, it smells good. And that's the four meals done. We'll roll them into the smallest. And again, compare them to the bottle. It's about the same height that way. That's about squashing. These are going even smaller. They're about two thirds of the length of the bottle now. And actually, the bottle is actually deeper than the food bags. So that's probably, we're looking at about one third to, yeah, about one third of the actual area of what it originally was in these uh, original bags. And then being so stiff and awkward and long and with the air in them as well, when you fold them over, you can never get them actually squashed down and flat. So there you go, look. We've got four for the same size of an open bag. Or well, if we do that, four mils for the size of, say, t yep, two thirds or three quarters of this normal bag. So let's go back over and weigh them again. We are back at the scales. We were 451 grams with the original packaging. And I'll put all of these in and we're down to 377 grams. So what's that, that's 75 grams lighter. So 
if you are uh, a weight counter there you go uh, saved you some weight and now we're down to 13.3 ounces so now that's gonna fit in my pack a lot easier which saves me taking a bigger pack and at the same time if you do uh, count the grams and everything the weight uh, if you've got these down smaller one you're going to lose weight from these by doing it this way and two because you're able to go to a smaller pack by doing this sort of thing your pack can be lighter also so to give you a comparison of how small it actually packs down to so I've put them all into my Dyneema food bag just to help and this is the the Helicontex Bushcraft water or hydration pouch and this holds a one litre bottle and it can still go smaller if need be and I've got room in there for another one could even get another two meals in there so that's four main meals in a one litre hydration pouch so I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have and you're not a subscriber please go down below and click on the subscribe button click the notification bell and all Click the like button too and share with all your mates. And if you are already a subscriber, again, I thank you very much. So until next time, get out there, have some fun and take care.